Hi guys, welcome to Cool Kid with KL Cool. What's up, what's up, what's up, y'all? Uh, have you guys seen Miss Brittany today? Yeah, I know. She's dancing in the Poops Mansion foyer with knives like a monkey knife fighter from The Simpsons. If you know what I'm talking about, you're gonna get it. But anyways, I was not worried that she was dancing with knives. I was more worried that she might trip over and slice one of her puppies in half because look at the little darlings. They're so cute. And I just don't think you should be dancing that hardcore when you've got three little darling, darling little puppies behind you. That's all. But I know she's doing it for a reason because last year they said that Brittany is not allowed near knives because she's a psycho chicken. Qu'est-ce que c'est? Ah, ah, ah. Uh, 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 uh. And now Sam's gone. She can do it. She goddamn wants because she's Britney Spears and she's a bloody pop princess. She's a she's a music icon. She yes, queen. Yeah. But anyways, once again, she keeps us entertained by being, you know, I don't want to I don't want to say anything too bad because if I say anything too serious or too bad people lose their tiny little minds. So all I'm going to say is maybe the gas isn't fully turned on in her brain. That's it, all right? Maybe it's a little bit half baked. That's it. That's as far as I'm going to go. But yeah, you do your boo. Hey, she's looking pretty fit though. She's been dancing hard, but keep the vibes away. That's all. That's my hot tip for you, Miss Brittany. Uh the it's all going to end terribly. And by the way, and by the way, you might actually lose an eye. Did you ever think about that, Brittany? You're just doing one of your crazy dance moves with your, your flicky arms. Next minute, eye gone. You know what I mean? Because it can happen. Anyways, she's been very busy. She's been sleeping with the housekeeper. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I just found this very funny uh, that she's sleeping with the housekeeper. And it's come out that he's a criminal. I mean, who, who was doing the interviews? Was it freaking one of the little dogs? I mean, I, I can't even get a job delivering Uber Eats without getting a criminal police check. What the hell is going on? Who's hiring these people? But anyway, she got her rocks off, baby, got her rocks off with the housekeeper. And I'm pretty happy because she probably hadn't had with you know Sharma Boy for quite some time and you guys know why if you watch my videos you guys know precisely why she was not having sex with Sammy Boy because Sam bats for the other team if you feel me if you dig <laughs> he is one of the sexiest gay men that ever got married to a pop princess Anyways, the divorce is happening. Let's have a quick listen to what Rodrigo, whatever his name is, says, the housekeeper. It's pretty funny. And this is what he has to say. Are you going to clarify for us, though? You, you are a couple with her, Brittany, now? I'm not saying, I'm not at liberty to discuss anything in regards to her. Yeah. Uh, so, how can you talk about how she's doing, though? Obviously, she's, she's in the middle doing, of the divorce. She's doing great. Is she in contact I with said, Sam? Is she, um... I don't know anything about anything. Do you know Sam at all, sir? Can you comment on their relationship? Yeah, you know, good guy too. I like Sam. I believe that um, Sam alleged that uh, did. Are you the person that Sam caught with Brittany? I don't know anything about that. <laughs> did you say I literally don't know anything? I literally don't know anything. And then when they said, "Hey, um, I mean." What about Sam? And he goes, I really like Sam. Oh, there you go. He's Sam's boyfriend. And they had a, mm, you know, a dalliance, if, if I could just put it like that. But look at Britta's just in the mirror, chewing the gum, looking crazy. You remember, remember this, Brittany. One thing I have to say to you, and it's from Whitney, crack is whack, you know? But anyway, I don't think she's on crack. I think she might be on flacker. But it, that's just me. That's just me. I said I wasn't going to say anything, but her dancing style is very much like this guy's dancing style who is on flacker. That's all I have to say. Don't come at me. It's just my opinion, and I'm allowed one because we all are. You feel me? You dig? But yes, Brittany, you're looking really, really pretty. She puts up the most hilarious videos, and they're just all about her. It's all about me, okay? Everything is about me. But what do you think about her having the dalliance, the sexy dalliance with the housekeeper? 
Do you think that's pretty funny? I do. I personally think that's very funny. But yes, your hair looks good. She must have just straightened it. And she's like, yeah, check it out. It's less mermaidy. Mmm, nice. Nice roots. Uh, so basically her Instagram is, once again, Groundhog Day. You know, just dancing in the keeny, dancing in the foyer of the Poopster Mansion. And we haven't seen many poos around her of late, have we? Now I think about it, because back in the day... Back in the day, before the sexy housekeeper came along, there was a lot of dog poop. A lot of dog poop around her. These days, less dog poop, but I tell you what is back, and this is for Cinema Shogun, he called it the soggy brown heels, the soggy brown pumps are back. Because I believe they're her favourite shoes. I don't know. I'm just saying, because uh, she wears them a lot, and she used to, but I think she's probably been watching my videos and I said those 80s white baggy boots they just don't do you justice girlfriend that looks way better to you see your sexy calves and how defined your body is oh yeah oh yeah do you reckon Brittany just wakes up in the morning and goes hmm what am I going to put on yeah I'll put this on and then guess what I'm going to do I'm going to go and dance in front of my phone for hours on end just having little breaks to have a, you know, a Red Bull, some flacker, whatever, you know. Oh, nice little tartan skirt. Yeah, yeah. she wears this one a lot, to be quite honest. But uh, there's very little going on in the Poopster Mansion. Now she's back from holidays because uh, recently she did go to Mexico. And I do believe I saw the housekeeper in the background of one of the videos when she was in the hotel room getting the tattoo. Go back and have a look. I'm pretty sure he's sitting on the couch in the background because, I mean, is he really her housekeeper or is he just the new keeper, if you feel me? You know, because Sam was a keeper. Here we go. Ooh, ooh. That was for Sam. See that post? That was actually for Sam because I call him Chicken Leg Man. And I can't believe I, the last video I made uh, over a week ago, I was saying, why would you get a snake tattoo? Because... Yes, Sam is a snake, but you should have put cheeky legs on it. And then a couple of days later, that was the post that came up. So, hey, thanks, guys. Thanks for listening. Thanks for tilting your little hats at a little koala here in Australia. I appreciate you guys because it could be Britters. It could be the team. It could be bloody anyone. I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to start saying I think the dogs are posting because they were in the shot today. They were being very edgy, nether knife fight uh they were really on the edge they could have got hit at any point but anyway everyone came out all good but Britta's knife loves to sleep in bed with one under a pillow just in case yeah just in case I mean I used to when I lived on my own have one under the bed not under my pillow though but under the bed and uh yeah it's just a form of protection I had a brick yeah, I know. Can you believe it? Uh, <laughs> yeah, throw the brick first and then use, you know, that's how we roll in the hood. So basically, that's the update on Miss Brittany Spears. She's living the dream. And to all the people that are trying to free her on a Friday, she's free. Look at her. She's free as a goddamn bird. She's living the life. She's uh, doing what she wants. She's out of the grips of Shammer Boy, the gayest man that ever married a pop icon, Shammer Boy. <laughs> do, do you reckon he'll get any more jobs? Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it out there. I don't think so. I really don't because his acting ability is, mm, let's just say passe, huh? Passe. Anyways, I'm gonna love you and leave you. I'm gonna see you on the flip side. And if you like my style, you like my vids, just give me a like. It's free. It's something that you can do for free. And the other thing you can do for free is subscribe to help me in the algorithm of rhythms of the YouTube. Because, you know, you know, they don't pay much. And I only do this for fun now because I'm working for the man. I'm working for the man. And uh, I can only do one once a week, but please, please, show some goddamn love, people. Anyways, uh, cheers, bowlers. <laughs> Okay.
Yeah, you can 